The Poe Politicking Show is brought to you by Audible. With over 180,000 titles to choose from, Audible is great for any continuous learner wanting to grow and expand their knowledge and insight. Go to www.audibletrial.com slash PO Audio and get an audio book of your choice free with a 30-day trial. After the trial, your paid membership will begin at $14.95 per month. With your membership, you will receive one credit every month, good for an audiobook on Audible. Cancel before your trial ends and you will not be charged. So go to www.audibletrial.com slash PO Audio and download a free book by Tony Robbins, Grant Cardone, Napoleon Hill, Les Brown, Damon John, and more. Always remember that knowledge is power. Welcome to the Poe Politicking Show. Founded in 2008, Poe Politicking is a hip-hop meets self-help brand. With each interview, we teach the babies and share success secrets with you, the listener. Past guests of the Poe Politicking Show include Yo Gotti, Currency, MC Light, BG, Dead Press, Rashida, Project Pat, and more. We also showcase the future upcoming stars of hip-hop. Subscribe on iTunes and get automatic updates of each podcast episode. Popolitikin.com. Yo, what up? It's Cool Yan from Cool Company, and you're listening to Popolitikin. Yo, what's up? It's Fat Man. You're listening to Popolitikin.
Welcome back to Pole Politicking, your home for self-help meets hip-hop. Make sure you download the app on iTunes and Android. I'm now politicking with my homies, Cool Company. How y'all doing? What up, what up? Yo, doing well, doing well. All right, All right, so I heard that y'all from Brooklyn, so let me know some things about Brooklyn that the uh, out-of-towners might not know. All right, well, uh, it's really big. Uh, if you want to... If you want to get from one end to the other, it takes like an hour and a half on the train. People are often surprised by that. The girls are beautiful. They give you tickets for walking through the park. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to forget that still. All right. Now I want y'all to talk about, talk about your background and how long y'all been in music and how y'all got involved in music. Uh, Matt's been doing music since the beginning of time. Um, I grew up, my mom made me join the church choir when I was uh, like sixth grade or so, but I was always singing before that. And then uh, we linked up like after college. And that's when we started working on beats together and making stuff. Yeah, I've been playing instruments since uh, since I was a little kid and started making beats when I was like 19. And then uh, started Cool Company when, let's see, I was like 23. Yeah, somewhere around there. He was 23, 24. Oh, okay. Oh. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. And I was listening to a song, Habit. So I just want yeah. you, uh, it was the, the Blood Cultures remix. Oh, uh, yeah. So I just want y'all to talk about y'all, I mean, because your sound, like what, what genre, because it was kind of different. So what genre, genre would y'all describe your music as? Uh, I was saying the other day, it's like hip hop, but more melodic, more like pop side of hip hop. Okay. Yeah. It's not. We don't have like straight rap. It's definitely um, like a mix of like a fusion. A fusion. So, so would it be like kind of like foreign exchange a little bit? So uh, what songs do they do? I don't even know. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just know they sound. I, just, I guess like what kind of what kind of is it? Any other artist that kind of is in the same lane? Um, I really like uh, Bryson Tiller. Um, this dude, uh, Black. He's a little more on the like rap side, but no, I'm saying so I'm saying so, I'm saying uh, far as like y'all sound, like what other artists kind of sound like, like make the same type of music or is it any artist like that like hip hop artists oh there are a lot of outcast songs that oh, okay 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 same vibe because they you know they all, they're singing and a lot of tracks and a lot of stuff cool 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 so speaking of outcast who are some of your who are your influences uh yeah outcast is one um stevie stevie wonders one for me um, I love Kanye. I'm like a oh, yeah, shameless Kanye, Kanye fan. The old Kanye or the new Kanye? Love Kanye from day one till now. I love it all. all I just right. love his attitude, man. It's great. All right. So what y'all got in y'all playlist right now? What y'all listening to? Like, uh, yeah, let's check the Spotify songs. So lately, I've been listening to uh, Tom Meesh and Daniel Caesar. Been on like a R and B neo soul kick lately. Not sure, not sure why, but those have been my go tos. And then I also listen to like turn up stuff like Kodak Black and uh, Lil Uzi Vert. No, I like. I feel guilty that I like it, but I can't. I can't deny that I do. Alright, then what are some of y'all current projects y'all working on right now? We've been doing some collaborations. Uh, people sent us beats and then we got to write over them. It's a little harder to do than just writing our own stuff. We're also just writing our own stuff. That's, that's constant. Like every week we've got something new we're working on. Yeah, we got a few things then, lined up in the pipeline. Yeah, and then once... Once we have a lot of songs, then we'll like go through those and try to make a project out of that. Yeah, where can they check out your music? Like, where's all your mu your website? 
Uh, it's it's on uh, all the streaming platforms. Okay. It's, okay. Uh, and Apple Music, and then it's on SoundCloud, Bandcamp, YouTube. Is it on Tidal? Yeah, it's on Tidal. Yep. Okay. You can just Google us. We're, we're Googleable. <laughs> <No. laughs> All right. If someone asked you what are the keys to being successful, what would you say? Uh, just, I mean, I don't know. We're not really successful yet, but um, I would say it's just putting as much of your time in it as possible. Like, yeah. all the time that you, you get those 10,000 hours. Yeah, like, a lot of your friends will be, a lot of our friends work during the day and at night they want to hang out, and a lot of times we got to say no, like, because we're, we slept all morning. <laughs> and, then, and But then, like, all night we just got to work. And Yeah, I think you just got to, I think the most important thing is always you just got to stick with it and stay at it and just be relentless. And just be ready for the, you know, like those, it's always going to be like a wave, so you're going to have your ups and downs, but you got to keep the, the big goal in mind and always move move in the right direction. Yeah, we we see the progress. Even the waves go up but, and down, but they never go as far down as they were. I'm going to say for, and for the people that don't know, you was talking about 10,000 hours. Why is 10,000 hours important? They say if you uh, dedicate 10,000 hours to anything, then you'll become a master. Yeah. So shout out. Y'all can check out, because uh, I always got it where they can listen to a free audio book on the, on the show. You can listen to that Robert Greene mastery, because he's talking about that in the book. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We read that on the books. Yeah, cool. All right. And what are some of your interests and hobbies outside of music? Uh, I like building... I'm in the carpentry a little bit, um, just being handy when I can. I like cooking too. Last last night we made this uh, pasta dish, pretty good. Yan's a gamer. I like uh, calligraphy too. I like messing with our cat. Yeah, the studio cat. <laughs> All right. What advice would you give to any new artists? I would say not to worry about what other people are doing. You got to like make sure that you're making your because I feel like the way, I feel like no matter what through time, people always try and move you into like a direction and put you in a box. But as long as you know what what's right for you, then I think you, you'll be good. I say, can you repeat that? Because you breaking up a little bit. I was saying, I think it's important to make your own music and not really try and emulate. I mean, it's okay to be inspired by things, but I don't think you should be going out trying to, like, copy someone's style or anything like that. Just because, in the end, like, your music is all you'll have left. Even when nobody listens to it, you'll still have it. And I think you want to at least be stay your own fan and not kind of not I wouldn't call it sell out but become misguided alright what would y'all like to say to all your fans and people that have been supporting your career so far uh, we, we love Quit when dropping people. that pick man he dropped his pick like <laughs> I'm, trying to I'm fishy I'm fishy <laughs> yeah. Yeah. we just we love the the, the love and we always we like read all the comments and stuff, and it helps. Um, like it helps to know that people are listening. Yeah, it's nice when you get emails from people like all across the world, like places you've never even been, and they know your music, asking you when you're going to be out there to play a show and stuff. Feels good. And then any anybody that hasn't heard your music yet, let them know why they should follow you on your musical journey. <laughs> It's just we make really catchy, fresh new tunes, and you should at least check it out. You know how to set the mood. Yeah, I mean, certainly know how to set the mood. A lot of other people like it, so chances are you might also. If you like good music, if you like good music, <laughs> yeah. If you like the sound of his voice, not much. I want to say thank you for coming through. Paul, take it with me. 
Thanks for having us. Of course. Anything Pleasure. we didn't cover y'all like to talk about? Uh, we got a remix EP coming out. Uh, it's going to be available on Spotify, all the big streaming uh, platforms. And they'll have um, the Habit Blood Cultures remix on it, as well as a few other uh, few other dope-ass tracks. So check it out. So do y'all only just stream y'all music, or y'all put it out other ways, too? No, it's it's going to be everywhere. Okay. Yeah, iTunes and everything. Yeah, it's available for downloads and all that. So. And then what's y'all Instagram and everything? Uh, it's Cool Company Music. And then this is Thank You Fat Man. Oh, yeah. It's Cool Yan, Cool Yan. With C's. Thanks for listening to Popolitikin.com, a self-help meets hip-hop brand. If you are an artist or business owner wanting to be featured on Popolitikin.com, Contact us at popolitikin at gmail.com. That's P-O-P-O-L-I-T-I-C-K-I-N at gmail.com. Or text 760-717-5803. If you're a listener that enjoys the show and wants to support, you can donate to popolitikin.com via paypal.com. Please send donations to popolitikin at gmail.com. Any amount will be helpful in continuing to create quality content and shows. As always, check out popolitikin.com for past episodes. Make sure you subscribe to Popolitikin on iTunes, YouTube, Podomatic, Stitcher Radio, and Google Play. The Popolitikin Show is brought to you by Audible. With over 180,000 titles to choose from, Audible is great for any continuous learner wanting to grow and expand their knowledge and insight. Go to www.audibletrial.com slash PO audio and get an audio book of your choice free with a 30 day trial. After the trial, your paid membership will begin at $14.95 per month. With your membership, you will receive one credit every month. Good for an audio book on Audible. Cancel before your trial ends and you will not be charged. So go to www.audibletrial.com slash P.O. Audio and download a free book by Tony Robbins, Grant Cardone, Napoleon Hill, Les Brown, Damon John, and more. Always remember that knowledge is power. Welcome to Konimbi Foundation, a private family foundation incorporated in 1968 and it's dedicated to our continued mission of reflecting the family philanthropic philosophy. Our programs expand educational opportunities and creative, inclusive communities because supporting the causes of education and community development is the hallmark of our work. The Foundation's programs have ambitious goals that seek to meet the needs of our communities. We acknowledge how important it is to have sound structures and strategies in place to achieve success in all of our programs. To learn more about our work, visit us at conimby.org and on Facebook at Conimby Foundation.